Hi, this is Julie Gagne again, and I'm here from Julie's Everything Treasures. Don't forget to check my page, check my website, Julie's Everything Treasures. I have uh, Christmas items for sale, how to do Christmas crafts and decorations for your home, lots of things coming, and I uh, hope you're enjoying the season. Again, day 10, the 10th of December, Christmas is coming, it's almost here. This is my 12 days of Christmas countdown. I hope you're enjoying everything. We're almost at the end. It won't be long and we'll see the full tree and room decorated in what we've been making. Let's see what we're going to do today. It's very similar actually to yesterday. If you remember, we had the little buckets that we did. Well, we're going to do something similar, but this time, this is what we're going to be making. This is the traditional one. Very cute, but I'm going to do more of a shabby chic one for the white Christmas tree. And what I used for these is actually I got for 99 cents a bag of napkin rings. They are the wooden ones. If I can get one out, come and have a look. Let's go down and see what we're doing here. So these are the wooden ones I got. I think I got um, 11, odd number, but 11 in a pack. You can get metal old antique ones. You can get plastic ones, all kinds of napkin rings from the thrift store. As I said, I got a bag, 99 cents for these wooden ones and thought it would be a great look for the Christmas tree. And uh, you can do different things. If you get the plastic ones, you can paint them decorate them, put glitter on them, all kinds of things to hide the plastic. If you've got the metal ones, I would leave them as they are. They're probably beautiful as they are. These wood ones, the, the one I did earlier, I just left it the wood. But what I'm going to show you now is how to make it more shabby chic. So what I did is I painted with the white chalk paint over the wood and to get that rustic look, I'm just going to grab cloth and you just rub down some of the paint off. Just a damp cloth and just rub it and rub it and rub it until you're happy with the effect you get. And keep going around rubbing it. I won't do it all, just to show you that's how I did that. And then to antique, I used a little of my antique wax. After you rubbed it down, got the look you like, I used some antique wax. And I just basically get a little bit on a brush and push it in all over but mostly in the creases. I'm just going to show you a little bit here and do this because I don't need to do the whole thing. And then I have a cloth which you don't want to rub in the same direction as you did the actual brush. You want to rub it your opposite direction. So I went that way with the brush so I'm going to go this way with the cloth. If it's not enough rubbing, you can use a little a bit of the damp cloth and just take a little extra where you want it to be white again. And that's how I would make it shabby chic, antique looking. I have one finished because I needed it dry. So I have this one finished. And we're gonna work on this one. What I've done is added some string and this is what we would use to hang it on the Christmas tree. And now we're going to decorate. Now this is what we're going to put on first. And I don't know if you'll recognize this, but this is the cheap garland we got. Again, using more of it, so it's going a long way. 
paid five dollars for a huge garland and I've hardly used any of it and um, remember this now what I did with this one I dry brushed a little white chalk paint on it just to make it more white because well, that's the look we're going for with this one so this is going to be going on the back and the back is where the tie is so let's stick this on push it in and put it on the back Now also again, I'm using another cinnamon stick, but what I've done is again, I've dry brushed some white chalk paint on the edges just to give it a different look. And we're going to put this on the front to the side. A little blue on it and put that on the front. And we can put it on this side. And just push it on. A little bit to an angle gives it a little bit more of a nicer look and I'm just gonna bend that one back a little bit so this is what we've got so far so we do the greenery in this case it's more white than green but the greenery on the back and the interest on the front so we're gonna put some more interest on the front which would be we've got some silver leaves we're gonna put in here so we're gonna put that on like that. I'm going to stick those on. Put it towards the middle and push it in. There we go. And I didn't have any white berries, so some berries I already had. I just painted them white and then I put a little bit of my white glitter paint on top just to let it shine. And I'm going to stick those on the front too. Hold it in place till it's stuck how you want it to be. Put a little bit of glue there. So I'm going to push it down a little. That's it. Push it in place. Sorry, I keep going to the side. That's where my glue stick reaches better. There we go. I'm going to stick this leaf down because it's not going where I want it to go so let's move the rope out the way and then I want this to go down a little so just stick that like that hold it in place until it's stuck and play around with it till you're happy now I'm going to put what we call the greenery in, but it's actually going to be white because that's what we're using. And I'm going to stick that on like that. So I'm going to stick it towards the actual cinnamon stick so it's more in the front than the back. So push it onto the cinnamon stick like that. And we have this one. Yeah, I'm going to put this one on this side, so it's the same thing on the cinnamon stick. And just push it towards it until it's in place. Now, right now it's not very balanced. To balance it, I'm going to put 
little bow which I made and put that in place to balance everything off. I think we'll put it here. And just push it on. I don't want it covering the berries, but I want it close to the berries. And there we go, finished. This is our shabby chic napkin ring tree ornament and this is a rustic tree ornament that is more of a traditional from napkin ring. I'm going to show you one more thing that I can do and put these to one side. If you have the cheaper looking napkin rings that you're not quite happy with it, again paint white with the chalk paint and then I think I have a tray here somewhere. Oh, yes, there it is. What I'm going to do is actually put on some snow. You saw me do this on the mason jar earlier, so I'm just going to show you again. You're just going to use some Mod Podge and just cover the front you don't need to do the back just cover the front and the sides with the mod podge and then i have some of the epsom salts i used earlier in a different one on the mason jars different day i've already got some here in a plate and haven't tidied them up so i'm just going to roll as you can see the actual napkin ring into the Epsom salts to make it look like snow. You don't need to do the back, just the front, because you'll be tying the back so you can tie it onto the tree anyway. And you have this look. This would have to dry before you can decorate it, but you can literally decorate it in the same way. And you've got a third different look. Um, that would be really nice, just with some greenery greenery in there, put whatever you want in there and I think that's pretty too. So if you happen to find from the thrift store you're not quite happy, it's plastic, it's ugly or it's not the shape you wanted or it's just too modern looking, you can paint the napkin rings with the white chalk paint, put some Mod Podge on and then just roll it into the Epsom salts, very simple and you've got then a snowy looking napkin ring that you can add some greenery, berries, whatever you want to decorate it, bows and ribbons and hang it on the tree. Don't forget when you're doing Christmas trees or any decorating in your home for Christmas or any time that you do it in odd numbers. If you're doing something large, do one, medium, do three, and if you've got smaller items, do five. And have fun! That's a great crafting and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a good day.